Hey guys, Kev here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this here uh, Aloni Knives Butron. Just got this in. I did the unboxing last night, um, so I may add this into the unboxing video. Um, the action on it is good. It's definitely good. Um, it's not quite what I expect from Wii. This is made by Wii. If I go to the breakpoint, it doesn't always reliably fire. It's kind of a weak detent, guys. And you know me, I'm not a big, big fan of that, but um, I'm really liking the knife overall. My other nitpick is the clip. It is super, super tight, and uh, going in and out of pocket is a pain. It's really starting to remind me of this Vero Mini Impulse, which I absolutely love this knife, guys. Even if I cut myself with it, um, as I open it, but, uh, <laughs> um, I love this thing, but the clip, I mean, uh, it goes to like here and then you have to shove it the rest of the way in your pocket and it's kind of a bit of a pain. Yeah, I definitely cut myself. Um, uh, anyway, so I figured why not clean this guy up and, um, see what that does i mean i'm guessing it won't do much but uh, it may help and uh, again i'm using the vulcan bit driver here from brian brown knives um this right here is amazing so i went ahead and ordered another one like it from scout leather co which is also in zirconium because i am bougie because i don't want to be doing this you guys are going to make fun of me because i'm using um two different drivers and one is not fancy pants and this is really hard so i hate spinning pivots guys jesus scratch anything all right we're okay i think i maybe broke the uh seal there come on baby i get it oh, it's spinning in my hand Oh, guys, this is going really well. Cut myself. Throwing shit across the room. There we go. Really, really uh, well done here on the disassembly, right? This is such a pain. I'm going to grab something else. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to try this little guy probably gonna be easier it's gonna give me more control you know yeah i just absolutely hate a spinning pivot it just sucks like i just don't get it why oh why do we have spinning pivots in um you know 20 whatever the hell it is right now i guess i have to take the clip off which you know i want to do that anyway because um, it's not my preferred tension and maybe just taking it off and see that? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I don't know how these guys do this, um, like with every knife, like Shabazz. I mean, golly. And I'm not wearing my Batman mask, guys. I, I left it at home. So, sorry about that. Now, I guess I do have to take these out. I thought maybe these were holding on the uh, carbon fiber, but I guess they need to come out too. Man, I love this thing so much. And I'm talking about this driver, guys. Yeah, the only thing I really need in my like maintenance kit now is maybe a mat with like little spots on it because this doesn't have that in it. Okay, so try not to lose any screws. So I have this one. And I can't seem to find, this one goes with the clip. This is with the pivot. Oh, there's a pivot ring, look at that. That's how they get that carbon fiber in there. It's on this side here. Pretty cool. Um, where the hell did that screw? Oh, duh. <laughs> uh, guys, I've never, I've never admitted, I mean, I've never uh, shied away from saying I'm an idiot, so. Uh, we have that off, and now what? Now we got to take even more out. Look at this. We have these two back here. That must be how we get in. 
And they're going to be, God, you got to be kidding me. These are T6s, guys. You know, like, come on. You, you do the whole knife. You know, like, you, you do everything on the outside in T8, what, just to make us happy? And then on the internals, you're going to screw us anyway. Like, the people who are going to take them apart are going to notice that. Like, that's silly to me right there. All right. Yep. We are free, guys. I can feel it coming up. There we go. Okay. So what are we working with here in terms of bearings and such? So we have standard bearings here, cage uh, brass bearings or phosphor bronze, whatever they are there. This thing is lubed to hell. Oh, wait. I did that. <laughs> I did that. Let me grab something to clean it off here. I don't usually do the whole, like, Shabazz thing where I use alcohol. Like, you don't need to use... Oh, almost lost a screw there. May have lost a screw. Let me just check. I tried to do the old pincheroo. You know what I mean? Oh, I got it. <laughs> Landed in my crotch instead, so... Score one for me, guys. Um... All right, let me put this aside. I'm definitely going to lose something, so yeah, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, I don't always use alcohol just because, um, I don't know. Like, just wiping it off works a lot of times, and I feel like I'm just getting rid of the KPL and stuff that I want. It's not like I'm leaving dirt, you know? You can see here, it looks like there's a little bit of schmutz inside the detent hole here. This is usually when I get my handy dandy brass rod I mentioned in a previous video. And since it has a fine point like that, I'll just kind of shove it into the hole. That's what she said. Yeah, you can see it's picking up some dirt there, guys. Hang on, let me get a better angle on it. That is not the correct hole. She said that too, by the way. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm a two-year-old. But we all knew that already. Just trying to find that detent hole. There we go. All right. Not getting much of it out, but, I mean, that can make a difference, guys. If the detent ball is not seated properly, it could be causing the light detent. So, I want to make sure. Now, you know, sometimes I use Q-tips for this. I have some, like, pokey q-tips that i had from gun cleaning um but i don't know where they are and i honestly did this willy-nilly <laughs> i was just sitting here at my desk and i was like you know i'm gonna take this sucker apart and then i was like you know i'm gonna rig up a camera desktop camera i literally have a tripod that i laid down onto my desk luckily i have a desk with like a raised up section for monitors and i just like laid the tripod down sticking over the desk and then stuck the phone in it. um and jerry rigged it up you know I, I always wondered that saying um like what did jerry do was jerry just a like a crafty guy and like what was jerry's last name i don't know pretty sure it's not spelled like that though and for your entertainment, while we watch this idiot clean stuff, I will chat and talk and be a menace. So, since I'm just talking, right, and you guys can see the internals here, I literally just went to save my wife. She called me crying. Um, she won't admit she was crying. She said she was just panicking. Um, and she was taking our daughter to daycare and dropping our dog off at my parents to hang out. And she called me and was like, Kev, ah. like, I was really worried. I thought, I was had a heart attack. I thought she got in an accident with the baby in the car. Um, so I, like, jumped up, and um, she was just stuck in the snow. <laughs> we just had a snowstorm, and uh, she has a little Honda Fit, and she got stuck in the snow. And um, so I went in my truck. I have an F-150, bowler, and... Um, you know, she's like, bring a shovel, bring a shovel. So I brought a shovel and I'm like shoveling the front of her car out. And then she's trying to drive. And I like climbed up 
the like in the grill of the truck put my feet up against the back of her car and like was shoving with all my might and I got it to move a little bit I was pretty impressed with my man strength but we couldn't get it out and you know what happened a little light bulb went off in my head my man brain and I was like I need to shove your car with my truck man right and she's like fine I was like, okay, hopefully this doesn't jack up anything. And I just kind of slowly like bumped her and then hit the gas a little bit and pushed her. And man, I felt like such a man. I just felt like, I felt like uh, Hulk Hogan or something. I'm just a man now because I shoved something with my truck. Anyway, sorry for the uh, interlude there. Uh, so you will see it has Ohlone here. Has the the logo here, which is pretty cool. This is the only marking on the blade, other than the or on the knife, other than the uh, the blade marking, which is really tiny, classic um, Wii style. So that's cool. A lot of a lot of companies are doing this now um, to keep things clean. I really appreciate that because, like, if you buy this knife, you know the maker, right? Like, people aren't just going on the internet and ordering Ohlone knives, like. They know who Derek is, they know his designs, they like his designs, and um, they want to buy his stuff. So, hold on, I'm going to pull this off just so I can see. Okay, that's just kind of marring on the, um, on the black wash there. I guess this is a titanium frame, or uh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, of course this is titanium. I was thinking it was a liner lock for a second, it's a bolster lock. But yeah, this right here is titanium. So if anybody else is stupid like me, there's your answer. And I'm noticing right now, this is very Riot-esque. Like they have the numbering on the inside of the scales to keep track, like number 14, number 14. Um, they have the company logo on the inside there. I guess you kind of have to at some point if people don't want billboarding. This is kind of what you end up with. It's kind of interesting how it's almost identical to a Riot build minus usually the t6s aren't involved with riot and of course their detents are baller um i may just sh try to bend this a little bit i don't want to go crazy here just give it a little shove maybe that'll help with the detent a little bit i didn't really do much there so i doubt it will actually do anything so now that we're all cleaned up right see it's clean i mean there's no gunk. There's no schmutz. Like, it's fine. Um, so now we can... Oh, I didn't clean these up, did I? I mentioned before, I have skiff bearings coming. I don't think any of the ones I have will fit this. Um, see. Um, these little ones down here are from the F5.5. And um, I think those are the same size. This seems to be a very standard size. I told you I ordered six of these um, from Skiff. So that's cool. Yeah, it's the same kind. So none of the stuff I have in here will fit. Other than the same ones, which is pointless, right? I'm pretty sure that companies buy these like in bulk from somewhere. Some company just makes cage bearings. Um, and they make some bank doing it probably. Uh, there's some screws here and yeah, I'm totally going to lose some stuff so I'm going to get the KPL and uh, this is definitely going to be its own video guys so if you were looking for tabletop from me um, you're going to get it so here's KPL original KPL heavy you can tell I used the crap out of these because you can barely even see this one and this one's gone the label um this stuff is amazing. They just started a YouTube channel, which is cool, explaining stuff, like how to use it, what to use it for. Um, I mean, I've been using both of these for a while now, and I still have a ton in here. People complain that, you know, it's 15 bucks or whatever, 12 bucks for one of these. Like, you can get a set for 25 bucks. That's amazing, guys. These last forever. Like, I'll get at least a year out of these, and, you know, I'm not... I'm not using it like once a month. I use this stuff all the time. Um, I'm always adding more to a knife to smooth it out or uh, taking it apart or whatever. So 
Um, I definitely think this is worth the investment, and KPL is the best option. Um, I will admit I have not tried Nano Glide or whatever it's Nano Oil. Um, I do have this stuff. I bought Tough Glide, which I have to keep in this bag because it leaks everywhere. I tried this because I heard it was really good, um, and it sucks. Like it's literally like it's like dry liquid. It blows. Um, it like made my knife worse. And then as soon as I cleaned it out and put KPL back in, it was like night and day. Um, KPL does, it does wonders, but it, it's not going to fix a knife. Like, you know, if it's not drop shut and you drop KPL in, it's probably not going to be drop shut all of a sudden. Um, but it definitely smooths things out and, uh, I absolutely love it. So dot here. And I am definitely of the Shabazz um, uh, category, and I over lube everything. So um, if you want to give me shit, give me shit. So I'll show you. I used the original on the uh, bearings. Yeah, I don't know how these guys do this desktop thing all the time. I'm looking under the camera because it's really weird to be like looking through a camera uh and working on stuff which luckily i have this setup where i can do that um here you want to zoom in this is pretty cool i'm gonna move it over a little bit there we go um another drop another drop i mean i don't go crazy but i definitely use a lot put the bearing on this way you want the outside of the bearing going against the blade um this bead blast is interesting i'm not a huge fan of bead blast um just because, I don't know, I feel like it marks up easy. It's not the best looking. I like a satin and a, a good stone wash. It's probably my favorite these days. Just because you don't have to constantly clean it up. Do I have everything in there? Probably not, but I'll find out eventually. And then, um, you know, we can go from there. No audible click, which sucks. I love that about Riot. Um, this is a T6. So you, my friend... Is this titanium? I think this is titanium, guys. It's not uh it's not magnetizing, so that's interesting. Yeah, guys, if you don't have a sweet bit driver like this, I'm gonna back out so you can see everything. Uh if you don't have a sweet bit driver like this, oh you know what I forgot? Hang on. I knew I forgot something. Ah I forgot to put the heavy on. So the KPL heavy you want on the detent ball hole, right? Uh, zoom in again. Detent ball hole, liberal amount, and then I usually drop little dots along here. And then I always put a drop on the actual detent ball. And I guess I'll explain. The point of this stuff is it's a little heavier. So it's supposed to stick and stay where it is. So putting it on a detent ball and a detent ball track is good because it's a it's a moving object. It moves a lot, and you want this to stay in place. So you use the heavier stuff, and then the bearings you want the light because or the original because it um well it's it's light. It's you know it's gonna smooth. It's gonna make things a little smoother. It's not going to gunk them up. Not that the heavy does, but that's kind of how um, I've had it described to me. And that's how I've noticed it working. Works really well on detents. The heavy does. And then the uh, original works really well on bearings. So we are back to where we were. Uh, let me pop this guy in here. Backspacer. Okay. So let's try this again. Sometimes I, I forget to put the heavy on a lot, and then I end up doing it after, like, I'll just drop it on the, I'll, like, hold it like this and put it through, you know? So I don't think I bent that much, if at all. Not sure what the lockup was like before, um, but we shall see. There's a very uh, high chance that I screwed up the knife, too. You know, I've done that before. I need a tiny one. Where's the tiny one? There. these t-sexes sorry 
Man, I can talk, can't I, guys? It's been 20 minutes already. Jesus. I'm just tightening these down. Because I'm not going to be able to get back in here, you know? So now I'm just going to... I think I'm going to put the pivot in. Because I the overlay just goes over, right? It's not... Yeah. It's not like I'm going to screw something up. So let's see how this works. Goes in like this. Yes, it goes in like that. T8. See, this is why I need two fancy ones. Because I have a T6 in the other one. And then, man, I'm really going to scratch the shit out of this knife. Aren't I? <laughs> so usually with a spinning pivot, you can get it most of the way in. Sometimes you don't even need the second driver when you're putting it back together. So there we go. Centering, good. It felt a little stiff there. So now we're back to, what'd you say there? 40% in the lockup, so I don't think I did anything. Shake it a little bit, and I can tune this after. No play. That's all good stuff. Okay. Centering. Good. All right. So I'll put this on. Do, 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 do. Uh, when it comes to Riot and it comes to um, we, I don't ever use much Loctite. Sometimes I do just because I get in a Loctite mood. <laughs> uh, but usually you don't need it with them. They're really good. Um, about having very well threaded screws and all that stuff. So it's not too much of a worry there. Um, this carbon fiber is really interesting, isn't it? It sort of reminds me of, um, burlap micarta. Tighten this down a bit. Let's see, everything looks pretty good. You can feel this transition a little bit. On this side, you can't. But it's kind of natural because the bolster lock has to come in here. So, um, you know, you're going to feel it a little more. It's really well done, though. i got to give them props for that. Um, here is the clip. And we're almost done, guys. What are we, 22 minutes in? Um, man, i got to work on that, don't I? Talk a lot. But I guess that's the point. I mean, I have a YouTube channel. If you're watching, you're probably listening to me, so... I don't know, something to think about, but I just kind of go through my motions, you know, hope you guys are enjoying it, yeah, that clip is, man, it's tight, so we have the knife, clean this off, all lubed up, see how far I can go on this pivot screw without blade play. Yeah, it's tight, so that's good. No play. Detent test? Yeah, it's the same. But, I mean, I'm just picky, guys. I like a stronger detent, I guess. Medium to strong, seems like, huh? No play, so let's keep loosening her up. I will say this one is a lot easier to get torque on than uh, this one, but that's probably good. I've explained that before, too. Still no play. Oh, okay. I mean, this is the kind of knife that's never going to be, like, drop shut. But I wouldn't mind it being... Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of play, so... This is when I back down. Again, I have no idea how Shabazz does this, like, all the time. Yeah, we are really solid on uh, the action, guys. That's that's nice. So, that was the disassembly and nonsense of the Ohlone Knives Boutron. But, yeah, look. See, it kind of looks like uh, Burlap Micarta, sort of. I don't know.
really cool carbon fiber. I'm glad they didn't go with like run of the mill weave, you know. Um, interesting. Cool knife from Maloney. Great construction in there. I just wish they didn't do the uh, T sixes, but otherwise, fantastic. So appreciate you guys stopping by uh, to listen to me rant and rave as usual, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.